So we're having some problems with my GPU. This is a 1660 Super and some, I mean, my one problem. The one major problem is that under full load, it is going to around high 70s to mid 80s, which is not a good sign because uh, under full load, like a month ago or a few weeks ago, um, it used to be around mid 60s, which is much, which is a much reasonable temperature, which I'm comfortable keeping my GPU at. So let's go see what's going on. Um, on on the way, I'll just teach you how to open a GPU properly without damaging it. Um, one of the reasons why you would want this is to add a water block on a GPU, so you can water cool a GPU, which will look pretty nice. And if you have the money, obviously. And um, the next reason is probably if you would just want to remove the thermal pads and add a new one, or in this case, most likely, um, just add new thermal paste if your thermal paste have gotten dried out. Anyways, let's get started. And all you need is a Phillips head screwdriver with magnets preferably and um, if you're fancy, electric one. So let's get started. You know guys, I just made a Discord server so I'll be linking that in the description below. We will do a lot of gaming and a lot of Q&As. Uh, we already started doing Q&As so streaming is on the way since it's now summer break and I have a lot of time. So I'll be streaming on Discord, which is my channel right here, uh, and YouTube. So stay subscribed and hit the notification bell so you really know when I actually start streaming. Anyways, guys, let's get back to the video. I I I Okay, so we have the 1660 Super right here. It doesn't seem to have a lot of dust on it at the moment. I just cleaned some of it out. There was not a lot. So that shouldn't have been the problem. If that was, that would have been just some miracle. But anyways, uh, flipping this whole thing around, we will see few screws. Hopefully you can see them. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six on this GPU right here. So uh, in order to get this fan shell out, or if you want to call it the fan shell, I call it it. Um, if you want to get this out, you have to remove all these six screws at the bottom right here to take them out, and these all seem to be loaded with some springs so you don't damage the GPU while screwing it back in. So let's take them out. I I Okay, so I got all these six screws out right here. They're on the side. So all these six, no, these are five. Hold up. Yeah, wait, oh yeah, six, sorry. So there are six right here. So I have gotten all the screws out, as you see here, six screws right down here. So all you do is, oop, just popped out like that. That's nice. Okay, so this, is a GPU. I mean, this is the one. This is uh, the shield, or as I like to call it, the fan shield. Um, so all you have to do is just take out this fan header, or fan plug, and that's out. Now we have this GPU right here. Let me zoom in on it. So we have the GPU right here, and as you see, this thermal pad is actually dried up. And I've been only using this GPU for like a few months now, and this is not a good sign. So, same thing on the fan. 
or fan plate right here. The thermal pad has been dried up a lot, so that's not a good sign. So I have to order some thermal pad or thermal paste, and the thermal pad seems to do fine. It's all normal. And yeah, I think the only problem is with this is the thermal paste. So with the thermal paste, I can just apply more, just rub it off with uh, isopropyl alcohol or some kind of alcohol or like even rubbing alcohol with um, some wipes that I can just remove uh, from both ends right here from both ends right here and uh, yeah and apply it more with some kind of small spatula or thing to spread it on anyways uh, I just have to put this all back together now I know what to order from Amazon and you will be expecting another video about opening this taking the thermal paste out and putting it back in also putting it back into the case anyways uh, let me do that right now and I'll take you on the ride I So in the next week or so, uh, expect a video from me where I show you how to remove thermal paste and apply thermal paste onto your GPU properly so you get amazing GPU temperatures and performance too. So as usual, thank you guys so much for watching and make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss a single video in the future. Anyways guys, that's going to be it. Peace.